Hey guys, it's Jen here from Nails by Jen. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time to my channel, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I am doing another watch me work. So this time she wanted to create basically the same type of design that we did with her last set, but she just wanted to switch up the colors to pink. So if this is something you're interested in, stick around, keep watching. As always, don't forget to click that like and subscribe for me. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below and let's get started. All right guys, so we're starting off by removing her old set, which I do have a watch me work on this one as well. And let me just say, it was really sad for us to remove this design because for both of us, I think to date it was our favorite set we've done on her. Although we do say that a lot when I do her nails, but this set just had so much dimension. The colors were so perfect together. So if you have not watched that watch me work video, definitely check it out. So I'm going in with my 4X carbide bit and my Melody Susie e-file. I've got the scarlet one and my dust collector underneath. I really, really like both of those Melody Susie um, products. And she was just actually explaining to me about her ring finger because it is lifted pretty badly. Um, she was out and about and somebody grabbed her hand and the way that they grabbed her hand and squeezed it, it popped her ring finger bad and then they did it again they did it a second time so she was not happy about it but so it's not su super tender or anything at this moment um so it was fine when i removed it i just had to be really really careful so you'll see here i go in and i'm removing it and you just want to be very very careful when you have lifting first i always check to see if the natural nail is broken and let me tell you you can tell when the natural nail is broken underneath because if you give it a little push and it bends really easily, you'll be able to tell if that natural nail is snapped. Thankfully, hers was not. It was only lifted about a third of the way. Um, she said it hurt like a mother when <laughs> it happened, but it's fine now. And when you are removing any lifting, I always tell the client, just let me know if it gets hot. Because when there is damage like that to the natural nail, even if it has been healed, I find that the nail surface, um, the nail plate will heat up a lot faster. So I'm very, very gentle to go around that area that is lifting and just flake off the acrylic product. So now also because we are going to be applying a lot of color on top, I didn't have to take down the color completely. I mean, I pretty much took it down to a very thin layer, but if there were certain little areas where there was still a little bit of purple, it's going to be totally okay because of the color application that I am going to be applying for the new design, we'll cover it up. So next I'm going in with my cuticle pusher and I am pressing back the proximal nail fold and I'm scraping the nail plate just slightly to start getting that cuticle up and off the nail plate. And then I'm going to go in with my hand file and I'm going to start getting that shape in place. She likes them really, really sharp and pointy. And I'm also going to use the hand file to remove any little bits of lifting if there is any. She really didn't have any lifting on any other nail except for that ring finger. So of course when I get to that ring finger I have to be very, very gentle because there are layers of her nail that has already been removed so it's a little bit thinner it's a little bit more sensitive and I'm just making sure to remove any shine off of any of the natural nails so that we can get ready for the prep work All 
right guys so the next thing I'm going to do is go in with my cuticle bit this is an Erica's bit I get it at the pink chair I will link it below for you guys and they have lasted me quite a long time so as you can see I start off by going up the left side of the client's finger it is my right side I get them to kind of turn their finger and I just slightly bend their finger a little bit so that I can get in there with the bit and I flake off any of that dead skin and I go up to the middle or the center of the nail and I do this on all five fingers then I go back to the pinky and I go back down the right side of the client's finger which is my left side and finish off getting all of that cuticle off this is just the way that I find works best for me I know that some people prefer to put their e-file in the reverse method um, or motion and just do it that way but this is just what what works for me you do have to get your clients to kind of you know do a little bit of finger yoga or become gumby for us older gals who know who gumby is <laughs> and bend their fingers but they totally understand my clients don't complain they just know they have to maneuver their fingers for me so that I can get all of the cuticle off So I'm just dusting off her nails here and then I'm going to go in with my nippers and I'm going to remove any of that dead tissue. So somebody once told me that they were told if it's standing up and waving at you to cut it off. So I've always kind of had that in my mind ever since they said that. So basically any of the tissue that's kind of just white and kind of waving at you, I guess you could say, you just want to nip it off and you just want to be very, very careful. On her last set, I did nick her on her ring finger and um, I kind of talked about that in the last Watch Me Work video. So you just want to be very very, very careful. Accidents do happen, but we want to be very careful. I did not nick her this time. <laughs> it's not something that I do regularly, <laughs> but accidents do happen. So next I went in to cleanse the nails and as you can see I just use a brush and I went back to using my 50-50 mix of 99% alcohol and 100% acetone. So that was what I originally used for years and I tried using the swipe solution just to see if there would be any difference with retention in regards to some of my lifting clients and honestly I didn't I did not feel that there was any difference so I just went back to custom mixing my own solution which again is a 50-50 mix of 99% alcohol and 100% acetone. Acetone. And then I went in with two layers of my Young Nails Protein Bond. And yes, it does look like a different type of protein bond or primer because the bottle is different. But that's simply because I decant the protein bond into this larger bottle. I just really don't like the small bottle that it originally comes in. So I just put it in a larger bottle that I purchased at a supplier when I was in the U.S. All right, guys, so it's finally time for the fun part. So I'm going in on all 10 fingers and applying a thin layer of the Glitter Mix Canada foil gel, and I'm just applying it to the center of the nail. I'm not going to the edge of the nail. And when you apply this, you must apply it very thin. If you don't, I do find that it gets a little bit wrinkly if you apply it too thick, and I just cure it for 30 seconds, and then I'm able to apply my foils, which stick very well. So the foil that I'm using for this design is a iridescent seashell type of an effect foil. As you can see, it's very, very see-through and transparent. It's very, very light, but it worked very well with this design. And then next, I'm going to go in with all of my chromes and my glitters and my flakes. So I'm starting off by applying the Joann's Chrome and this one I believe is the Aurora one so I've just dipped my brush into acrylic and then I've gone in and picked up some chrome and then I'm going to go in with some flash glitters and I believe that I got those ones on eBay but I will see what I can find for you guys I will try to find all of the links to the items that I use and I will link them below for you so the order that I go in is I usually apply my chromes first then I'll go in with my fine glitter then I'll go in with my chunkier glitter and then with my flakes. So after I apply the flash gel, excuse me, the flash glitter, then I'm going to apply my fuchsia chunky glitter and then I'm going to apply my flakes from Glitter Mix Canada. So when I'm applying the flakes, you will see that I actually lay down some clear acrylic first. Then I go back and I grab some flakes and press them into that clear acrylic. In regards to the glitters, where it's the fine glitter, the chrome, or the chunky glitter, I, I dip my brush into the acrylic, then into the glitter, and then apply it to the nail.
And the last steps are to encapsulate all of this glitter and chrome in some clear acrylic. And then I'm going to shape and file and buff the nail and then apply the top coat, which is the absolute best part because it shows all of those beautiful layers underneath. All right, guys, so that is it for this design. It is a lot softer and more subtle than the blues and the teals and the purple set that we did previous to this one, but they still turned out really, really nice. I don't know what other colors we could try. We could definitely just do all blues and teals, maybe a darker set with some black. I have no idea, but I am not sick of this style yet, and I'm sure she's not either. So I hope that you enjoyed this video, you guys. If you did, please share it with someone else, and as always, have an amazing day.